after listening to your feedback and after months of design, months of development, we have finally got Client Portal. And in this video, I'm going to walk you through how it works so you can use it to effectively run your business. So with that said, let's get straight into it. Okay, so once we are in our main dashboard, let's navigate to Portal on the left-hand side. And what we did was we started with what is a client portal for those who don't know. You don't have to view it, but just for the sake of this video, I do want to go through it. So I think the best way to think of a client portal is as a dashboard where you can collaborate with your client, schedule meetings, work on projects, see documents, see notices, see client requests, all in one simple page. You have your view and the client has their view. That is client portal in a nutshell. How does it work? So you need to activate your desired client portal below and the client will receive an email activation where they can activate their client portal and create an account. Once activated, they can log into portal.clientmanager.io. It's the same thing for you. So you can add this to your website or anywhere. And um, yeah, at, for the time being, this is the URL that we are going to be using. Uh, in future, we will have white label, and, but I will share some more information on that at a later stage. And um, yeah, so now I'm going to actually walk you through how it actually works. So to activate the client portal, I do have a dummy account here that I created Sock Enterprises. And all I did was I just clicked on the activate button and it sent the user an invite. And this is how the email looks like. So they get an email and they click accept invite, continue with account creation, and then you can collab with them. So you'll also see that there are a few invitation pending and you can resend the invitation and you can edit the portal as you're waiting. But for the purpose of this demo, I'm going to show you Bob the Builder's portal. Okay, so this is the client portal. <laughs> so what we are looking at is we're looking at edit view. This is our edit view. We are editing Bob the Builder's client portal and then we've got client view. So this is what the client sees. So let's just go back to the edit view and the request meeting so this is if a client wants to make a booking with you so they could schedule a call for example and it'll open up almost like a tidy call calendar sort of um, view and then you would have the meeting requests show up here underneath this we've got the questionnaires which are basically like client intake forms so if you need information from clients all of your intake questionnaires will show here and it's a nice way to access all of them in one go and for the client It'll also show yeah on edit answers that they can have. And then we've got the main dashboard, right? So the requests would be these requests here. So on the client side, they can type in the request that they want to ask you or send to you or anything, and it will show up here for you. Or you'll also get notifications here. Meeting requests you'll also get, and then files and assets I'm going to get to below. The actions are pretty cool. So we at the moment we've got two iframes, but if you want more, let us know and we can try and figure out how to add some more custom iframes and in, any more information here. So for the time being, we've got an existing iframe. I just added an example dummy uh, video, which is like a welcome video here, um, which we can edit it and remove it. Um, or we can add any other iframe. So maybe it's like a look at studio report or anything helpful to the client, we can add it here. And then we can also add notices for client. Maybe there's like certain notifications that we want them to be notified of. And if we scroll down the projects and tasks, I would say this is where most of the work will be done. So remember we've got a project and multiple projects per client and then the tasks under each project. And what's nice is we can either give edit or view access to the client for each project. So in this case, let's say we wanted to work on the project together and we wanted to look at tasks, we would just click on our desired project. And now we have a very clean interface to work from. Very simple Kanban board. So let's, be, let's say we wanted to collab on this task together, we can do it and work on it together. And if we scroll down, we've also got assets and files. And what's nice about the documents, assets and proposals is we can also give edit and view access to this. And to show you how this looks, we've got invoices, contracts, miscellaneous reports, just wanted to upload a file, we can do that. Assets, documents, media, designs, and then proposals. Uh, I wouldn't say this is the best of examples because there's quite a few in this case, but you can get the idea of what we are working with. 
And then on the right hand side, we've got contacts. What's nice is we can add multiple contacts, multiple roles here to make it easier for the client to contact us. And then on the bottom right, we've also made it nice and easy to interchange between different portals. So let's say you wanted to edit this portal, we would all, or let's say uh, this one, we switch and it will just load and then we can edit that one. So let's just go back to the one I was busy with. Okay. Yeah, and that is most of the portal. We do have notifications and all notifications show up here, all in one section. So we've got requests, upload and meetings. And then, yeah, that is actually client portal overview. And I hope you guys found it helpful and I hope you can see the utility use case in this. Uh, but do let us know. Um, send me an email, carl at clientmanager.io with suggestions, with issues, whatever. We open to hearing, we open to improving. So let us know. Hope this helps and all the best for your client management. Cheers for now.